This is the Fort Knox original pistol box. What I'm going to do in this video is cover the pros and cons of this device. And because people have asked for it, I'm also going to address forced entry. First, the pros. The box is made of 10 gauge steel and the lid is made of 7 gauge steel. Total weight, 22 pounds. The box has a silver vein powder coat finish, which is scratch resistant and it's fitted with a simplex lock. Inside, there are two layers of foam, and the box has enough room inside for some of your larger handguns, like this Smith & Wesson 686 with a four inch barrel, or a Colt Python. Finally, the box has mounting holes in the bottom of it, which I recommend using. But now, the cons. For some reason, all of these pistol boxes of this style, where you have basically just a heavy steel box fitted with a simplex lock, all of these have gas struts that seem to fight you when you try to throw the lid open. The other issue is that there isn't any reinforcement for the combination chamber on the inside. This means that I can use a couple of common household tools defined as such under California's firearm safety device testing standards to try knocking the lock through. And now I'll show you the results of some rather expensive testing that I did. You can see how the lock is knocked through. I'll remove the remaining screws here so you can get a better look at what is going on. The whole um, combination chamber is really just held in place by tiny screws. Okay, here's the escutcheon piece. You can see that Sometimes the screws just break off like that one right there. So two screws on this side, two on the other. That's all there is holding these things together. 